Hello guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So let me teach you today how to install Puppeteer globally on DigitalOcean droplets. So there are some different methods uh, to do this. So because of this, I wanted to make this video to clear things up. So thanks to Mr. Lee because he was the one that showed me this method. I was not aware of it before. And once again, thank you, Mr. Lee, for uh, shedding light on how to install Puppeteer globally on DigitalOcean. So let's jump straight into this. I created this help page, this knowledge base uh, page. It will be linked in this video description. You will find also the commands that you will need to run on your droplet in the console to make it happen. So let us jump into DigitalOcean now at, and let's go to Marketplace to create a new droplet with WordPress on it. So for this, let's click Create Droplet here on WordPress. And this will install a WordPress droplet for us. And if we wait a bit, okay, now we will see that we will be able to select the size of the droplet, the location. We should set also a password. Okay, now let's create simply the droplet because I just want to show you guys how to install puppeteer on it. So the droplet is now creating itself. So let's wait a bit until it is created. This should not take long, but only a uh, 10 seconds or so. Okay, so things are moving here. And it should be ready in a second now. Okay, now we will be able to access the console of the site by clicking here. And now we will be able to also set up WordPress. So let's wait for the console to finish loading. Okay, so we can log in with a root and the password that we set during the droplet creation. And if everything worked well, we will be greeted with this droplet setup. So here we should enter the domain name. If you have a domain that you wish to assign to this site, to this site you should enter the domain name like mindomain.com. However, if you don't have a domain like I have currently only for testing, I enter the IP address. So paste the IP address here, the email address you want to use, username, a password, title, and if it's correct, no SSL setup now but you can set up SSL if you have your own website and things should roll out quickly here. And if you get this message, access your new WordPress site in a browser to continue, you can go ahead and uh, check your site. If you go to the IP you uh, have, the new site should load up. And if you go to wp-login.php, you should be able to log in here okay so now we will be able to also install puppeteer here so the commands that are needed are listed here on this page so first of all run apt install node.js so paste the command here this will install Node.js on your server. Okay, 
Now let's run the second command install npm. This is also important because it is needed to install Puppeteer. Hit yes when prompted and this is the largest package that needs to be installed so this will take uh, around 30 seconds to complete. Oh, it finished earlier because it failed to fetch things here. So let's run it again to see if it will fail again. Okay, in this case, run apt get update before anything. So run apt get update and now let's try again installing npm. Let's hit yes. And this time we should work better yeah so it seems that there were some requirements that were not updated and we needed to run apt get update to make things happen correctly okay so now installation should work correctly as we see it and we should wait around 40 seconds to for this to be completed okay until then let's check what we will need to do next so we need to change directory after this installation is completed and go to the html directory and there we need to install node.js in the html directory of uh, this wordpress site If you have Plask, the directory will be different. Okay, so let's wait this out. If you have Plask, you will need to install the directory of Plask instead of HTML. I might even speed up this video because there are only installs here happening and uh, yeah or even you can skip things forward or even better i will put some uh, timestamps in the description and uh, create chapters for this video i think this is the best approach to create chapters and uh, you can click the chapters afterwards and i create a chapter for each command that i enter here in uh, the terminal yeah this is the best thing to have okay so go ahead and check chapters because you will have video chapters to click through okay now we can change directory npm install puppeteer this will actually install puppeteer on your site Okay, so Puppeteer is almost ready. We have some more things to do. We have to get another update if we didn't did it do this already. And this should uh, finish pretty fast and also do this uh, library install because these are some required libraries for puppeteer to function correctly hit yes when prompted and when this will be finished you will have puppeteer globally installed on your server and ready to run Okay, so this should finish in a minute now. You can skip ahead to the finish stage and check if Puppeteer will be available for you on your server. Okay, so 
checking this this is the last command that we need to enter things start to work starting from now okay So let's wait. Okay, so everything is set up now. You can check and Puppeteer will be available now on your server globally. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you will be able to use this uh, info, this knowledge from this video to learn and to install Puppeteer globally on your DigitalOcean droplet. Yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye bye.